Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And uh, today we are going to be doing kind of like an unboxing and also a review. <clears throat> Sorry, I just sneezed, so that's why I'm all red. <laughs> Anyways, we're doing a review uh, from a company called Backstock.com. So if you're a reseller, you have likely been seeing these ads everywhere. I feel like I'm seeing them all over Instagram and Facebook and everything. Uh, but this company, they are a wholesaler. They just do things a little differently because they actually do charge a um, monthly fee. So you have to sign up to be a member and you um, pay $10 a month, but then you get access to their site. I will link down below. I, I have some sort of a coupon code I can share with you guys. I'll have that link below in case you wanna check it out. So because, it, um, because you do have to pay a membership fee, I was kind of leery of it at first and I was trying to find reviews online and they're not, there are not a lot. Um, but there is someone who I follow on Instagram that was talking about this quite a lot. I cannot remember her name off the top of my head, but she was talking about it. So anyway, I finally decided to check them out. So I did sign up for the monthly membership. Um, I have been, you know, looking at their site quite a bit and a few things that I want to mention before we jump into what I, uh, the first thing is the shipping took a long time. So <laughs> I've heard that they normally are better about shipping, so I don't know if they just got overwhelmed with orders or what happened, but I ordered these items back in December and just got them like two days ago. So it took like three weeks, maybe, yeah, about three weeks to get to me. Um, so I feel like that was kind of a long time. It actually, once they shipped it, it didn't take hardly any time. It just took them forever to, took them forever to get around to shipping my order. Sorry, she's bumping the camera. So that was the first thing. The second thing I wanted to mention is the prices are not like that fantastic. I felt like the prices were like, uh, meh, okay. And then when you factor in the shipping and, and the cost of membership, I was like, it's not that much different than going on to like B&G Trading or one of the other ones. Um, but they do have sales and their sales are actually worth watching out for. So I um, signed up for their email alerts and when I get their emails, I always open them to see what their sale is. Cause if, <laughs> yeah, cause a lot of times their sales are worth checking out. So both of the things that I got, I got two separate orders that arrived within the last couple days. I do have another order that hasn't arrived yet, but both of these I did purchase through a sale. So the first one, okay. So I will tell you guys, I actually started filming this earlier today and filming with Amelia around is almost impossible. Like I had to scrap that video and start over. So I have unbagged some of these already. All right, so I was saying free people. I ordered two mystery boxes. They were both free people boxes. They only had an extra small and a small left. So I ordered one of each and they were their normal price was forty dollars but i feel like there was some sort of a special and i can't remember what that was um might have been buy one get one half off i can't remember but i will put somewhere on here what i paid for it because i can't pull it up right now i'm filming on my phone um anyway so i got a total of 12 pieces and i'll show you guys those the first one is this little set so it's a two-piece set here's the top it's a really cute like blush color little crop top it has adjustable straps and lace details the um, all of these are by the way new with tags and this has an MSRP of $98 here's the second piece to that set which is this cute little skirt with it's kind of got like a faux wrap thing going on and then the lace detail as well don't worry she's with her sister she's not alone <laughs> You can hear Amelia in the background. There were two of those. There was one in another color. So I think I also got one of those in black, but I'll show you that when I find it. Okay, next I got this top here. And it's this is funny because it's actually a size extra small, I think. Or is it a small? Oh, it's a small, but it's still huge for a small. Look how wide that is. That honestly would fit like probably a large or extra large even because I'm a medium and this would be big on me. Uh, but it is cropped and it's just like a button down polo kind of style, but it's a really thin material. And this is from, um, from three people also. This is a retail price of $58. All right, next up, this is my favorite piece that I got. It's by far the most expensive piece. Um, I should have been saying the names of these styles. They do have the names on their tags, but, um, Actually, I think it was on the outer bags, which I debagged a lot of these already, but 
Um, this one has an MSRP of $300 and it's a beautiful um, like cream colored dress with embroidery and then it has these beautiful sheer bell sleeves. Such a pretty delicate look. And then in the back, it's open. It's got this open back and then it kind of um, buttons here at the neck. It's almost like a mock neck at the top. So super pretty dress. I think this will be a quick seller. I only got one of that particular one. All right, next up, I got two of these dress here. This is like a crushed velvet dress. Has the deep V in the front and back and has kind of this lace detail in the front. Also has like a peekaboo lace here on the side. And then it has this tie on the top of the back to hold, keep it from falling off the shoulder. Um, again, new with tags. This one's an extra small, but I also got it in a size small and it's a retail price of $128. Okay, here's the other one of that, like, um, first thing that I showed you, the pink skirt with the top. Um, here's the other one. It in, this one is in a black, and it's an extra small. And then here's the other one of that dress I just showed you. This is the small one. So I'm not going to take those out because they're exactly the same. All right. And then I got three of this skirt. I got two in white and one in black. I'll show you this. It's actually a really cute, like, sweater material and it's ribbed and then fluted at the bottom so I think it's really pretty skirts are kind of a hard sell they don't move quickly in my closet but because this is a really cute style I'll be able to look up a stock photo I'm hoping they'll they'll move quickly because I do have three of them um, this one is a size small the MSRP was $60 so that's the black one and then I have it in white and this is a size small as well and the other white one is a extra small. So I have three of that one. The nice thing about those duplicates that I got is I can do multi-quantity listings, which I'm excited about, because you know that saves time, makes it a lot easier when you're sharing and all of that. Okay, next I got a couple bodysuits. Let me pop these open. These are the ones I didn't get to opening the first time I tried to film this. Um, this is really pretty, actually. This is like a... I don't know, would you call that plum almost? Like a plum in a black embroidered sheer bodysuit. Very, very uh, pretty. And then it has like this T-strap on the back. Um, it's not adjustable and it is a size small and an MSRP of $68. I feel like these bodysuits are kind of oversaturated on Poshmark right now, the, um, the free people ones, because I feel like free people... It has been in so many um, wholesale lots. I've just been seeing them like crazy everywhere. So anyways, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is another bodysuit. Here's that. But it has this crazy long tie on this. I'm going to have to look up a stock photo. Maybe I'll try to insert one to see what the heck you're supposed to do with this because that is a lot of material. Like that's really long really long um anyway but it is a lacy sheer bodysuit again um and this one has an msrp of 68 dollars and it's a size small what did they call that one they called that one the show off bodysuit black combo don't know i'll have to look that up all right and then the last free people item this is a little black cami and it's pretty basic from Intimately Free People. Again, a lot of these like more lacy pieces are from Intimately Free People, so the MSRP is a little lower and it's a little harder to move on Poshmark than the regular Free People line. This one has an MSRP of $58. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the Free People stuff. Um, honestly, if I hadn't got those dresses, like the two black crushed velvet ones and then that really pretty um, embroidered one. I would not have been happy with all the like intimately free people stuff if I had only gotten that. Um, but that kind of brought up the value. So overall, I'm pretty happy with those. They'll be easy to list and they'll hopefully sell quickly. That's the goal. All right. So the second order that I got from them that I wanted to share with you guys is shoes. So they were doing, uh, one of the emails that I got from them, they were offering $5 on all the shoes on their website. The majority of the shoes on their website I did notice were unbranded, which for me, I find it really difficult to sell unbranded anything. Um, so I kind of stayed away from anything that didn't have a brand um, that would be recognizable, but there wasn't a lot that was like something that I recognized. So I kind of went with ones that were cute and had a brand, even if it was a brand I did not know. So let's start with the one that I did recognize, which was Franco Sardo. 
Um, I try not to pick up Franco Sardo too often because it is a, a little bit slower of a seller for me. But the style was really cute and they were only $5 and everything's new with box. So I can mark it that way, uh, which will make it sell a little quicker. But I thought this was a cute style. So it's got the suede on the top and then it has this chunky block heel on the bottom. Um, yeah, it's Franco Sardo. And what size are you? This was a seven and a half. I think I tried to get this in multiple sizes and this was the only one they had left. I did try to do multi-quantity on the shoes so that I could do that in my listings. So I think I do have a few that are duplicates. All right, next up, this is a brand that's new to me, but it did seem like the MSRP was kind of higher. So it's called Antelope. And I thought these were a really cute little, it's like a platform, couldn't think of the word, platform slingback sandal and it's leather on the top. Uh, what size did I get? This is a European size 38 and yeah, new in box. So I'll be able to list it that way. I think I got more than one pair of this. Let me double, double check a couple more boxes in here. Yes. So here's another pair and I think, is it the same size? Size 37 on these ones. So I'll be able to list those together. And I think I got one more. I sure did. So I got three of that of that particular sandal. And this was a size 38. Okay, the next thing I got, these I'm probably the most excited about. I thought these were really cute. This is another brand I'm not fam This is another brand I'm not familiar with, but it did seem to have a high retail value. The box is extremely dusty, so I'll have to clean that off. But this is a brand called Mark Joseph. New York and these are men's shoes but they're really really nice so it's kind of like a rusty orange look how pretty that color is and it's a leather lace-up sneaker I just thought these were really nice and like a current style so for five dollars I feel like I'll be able to sell these easily for like 25 to 30 pretty quickly um this is a US size 7 so I got that one and then I did get one other pair from that same brand. Actually, it's the same one. Yep, it's the same color. There was like a darker like red color that I tried to get and I think it sold out before I got it like checked out. It was in my cart and then I didn't check out in time. Uh, but this is the same size. So I'll look, put those in together. All right, and then the last thing I got was this pair of shoes from Soul, and it's another brand I don't really know, but I thought it looked like a comfort shoe and it looked like just a really basic sandal. Sandal season's not here yet, but it will be right around the corner. So new with tags, like you just can't go wrong, $5. So anyway, that is what I ended up getting. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of shoes. Yeah, I think that's right. All right, so that is everything. Overall, I feel like, like I said, I think that it's a good, site to watch out for. So if you are looking for a wholesale or, um, uh, my legs are falling asleep, gotta adjust. If you are looking for a good wholesale um, option, I would check them out. I don't think they're the best option out there. Honestly, their website is extremely hard to shop in my opinion. Um, you can't really sort by, they don't give you enough sort options. So it's just kind of jumbled together. They sell other things besides just clothing. So when you go onto their site, it's just kind of a mess. Um, and it's kind of hard to find what you're looking for. It does give you the option to sort by free people, um, but no other brand, which I thought was weird. So you can't even see what brands are on there unless you scroll through all the pages. And sometimes there's like 38 pages. So um, I just find it a little bit difficult to navigate their website. When I was doing the shoe sale, that was easy because you can sort by category. Um, and also I did notice whenever they have a special like that, they'll give you a banner you can click and it will take you straight to what's on sale. So I was able to click shoes for $5. It took me to all the shoes. Um, one other thing that I noticed a lot with them is they'll say they have a, a sale. Like right now they said all of their, I think it's called deal stock is buy one, get one half off. But half the time when I put those things in my cart, it's supposed to reflect that discount in your cart. So I'll put it in my cart and it doesn't show the discount. And that happened with the shoe sale. When it first went live, I tried to shop the sale and I had found some shoes I really liked that were like 
you know, 30 or $40 on their site normally, but they were supposed to be all for $5. I put them in my cart and they were still showing their higher price. And I kind of gave up. I was like, this is, this is a joke. It doesn't work right. And then the next day I came back and tried again and they were all of a sudden all $5, but half the things I had in my cart had already sold out. So I don't know. It's just kind of a, I think it's a brand new site um, or a newer site. So they're probably working out some kinks still, but overall, I don't know, I'm still on the fence with them. So if you guys have ordered from them, I would love to hear your thoughts. I really wanted to share what I got with you guys just in case you've been out there looking because there's not, there's just not a lot of information online about this website yet. So um, yeah, I thought I would share with you guys. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them below. And that's it for my video today. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.